Everybody wants to succeed so fast because they want to prove something to somebody else. So the only thing that's in your hands is effort. So put your hundred percent into your effort, what happens, happens. <laughs> It's hard for you to see the light at the end of the tunnel. I promise you, man, the light at the end of the tunnel. If you keep walking, if you keep making one good choice or two good choices, good choices will always bring amazing opportunities. I promise you, man. It's kind of the way I think about getting into shape. You've heard for 20 years that it's exercise and eating right. You just wish it was a pill. It won't be instantaneous, I know we want that, but it's not. Greatness takes time. That impulsive stuff, it don't last. When you build something with a foundation, with choices and character, you see character is everything in life. Your attitude's gonna really determine your altitude. Now I need you to be patient because I need you to give your gift time to mature, all right? I need you to fully develop. And that's how I think about business. It's not very complicated. You have to have a good product, and then you have to ha communicate that product and service, and then you have to do that over and over and over again, and then something good will happen. When you're producing for more likes, when you're producing for more subscribers, when you're producing for more money, when you're producing for more fame, it makes you vulnerable. Why are you building up so much debt in your mind with negative self-talk, limiting beliefs, thinking you're not worth it, low confidence, comparing yourself to other people? You're trying to get there too fast. Relax. It's going to come. I'm trying to tell you to hold on. Why? Because it's all coming together. Yet, everybody wants to know how to get from zero to a million dollars or from zero to a million followers fast. Everybody wants to get to a place very few are willing to sacrifice to get there. Patience, the mental fortitude, the mental strength to keep on going when you have absolutely no physical evidence around you that is saying you can make it. Just keep going and I promise you, man, one day your dream is gonna be a reality. Fast is fundamentally the scariest word for me in business. When I wrote Jab, 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 Right Hook, I said give, give, give and then ask. The way everybody heard it, give, 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 and then take. We have to slow down. If you actually thought about your life in a 50-year window or an 80-year window, you would slow down. We're all puppets of our subconscious mind. That's what's pulling the strings, but those same strings that are being pulled are pulling you away from what you truly want, who you truly are. What are you doing to yours? Don't build up the debt build up the credits because eventually all that debt, the negative talk and the negative actions and habits that you're building up is wiring that subconscious mind that's pulling the strings. That debt you're building up needs to be replaced in the future with positive talk, with positive self-beliefs, with confidence, with belief that you can go after what you want and you're worth it. Produce to bring value to the other party, so much so that it guilts them into doing business with you. I mean it. You wanna really build something meaningful? Think about producing content in a way that is so valuable that it guilts people to do business with you. That is how I see brands that win, win. So there's some of you, you're trying to get there too fast. Relax, it's gonna come. So what happens if you get there too fast and you're not patient, some people have gotten to fame and lost their families. They've lost their wives. They've lost their riches, right? They've lost their wealth. They lost their influence, right? They lost their name. Listen to me, in a good name, man, it's hard to get a good name. It's even harder when you lose it to get it back. So be patient. We live in a world where people lack patience. We just don't have patience and I promise you that if you're able to, whether it's financially or emotionally, put yourself in a position to have patience, you have a far better chance of succeeding. Your decision making path becomes far clearer and you build much more leverage to actually build wealth or work life balance or legacy or whatever makes you tick. 
When I talk about maturity, being patient, all right, I'm talking about finding your own voice. Are you hearing me? And you got to learn to shut the noise. I mean to shut out other people's opinions. That's what I mean by the noise. People used to tell me all the time, E, you're not polished enough. You're not refined enough. Listen to me. You wear a baseball cap. You know, your, your approach is too aggressive. Hear what I'm telling you. It took me years upon years upon years to find my voice, to find my style right? To find what fits for me. And I, I used to have people all the time criticizing and critiquing me, telling me, yo, you can't do it this way. You'll never be successful this way. And listen to me, I feel what they're saying. Right, you're right. You will never be successful doing it like that. And you will never be successful, but you can't tell me how to do what I do. Now, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with taking criticism. Are you hearing me? I'm not saying there's anything wrong with taking criticism. But what I am saying to you is this, you have to find your own voice. So be patient and give yourself enough time to find your own voice, man. Hey, it's your boy E.T. Remember, without struggle, there is no progress. Everything that has happened that's been good to me is slow. How many people here are under 31 years old? Raise your hands. When I was 31 years old, I was making less than $100,000 a year working in a liquor store, building a business for my dad, and was going to be leaving three years later owning nothing. Under 31, I worked in a liquor store, ringing people up at the register. Everybody wants to get to a place, very few are willing to sacrifice to get there. Your business is only effort, isn't it? Just do that. For all these things to happen, you need perception and intelligence. So that's all you must do in your life. Constantly looking for ways to enhance your perception and your intelligence. Rest will anyway happen. This is one thing that unfortunately humanity is not doing. They're trying to become capable of something. Do not try to become capable of something. Just enhance your perception and intelligence, whatever comes your way. Is your current lifestyle sustainable and getting you to where you want to be? Whatever's not serving you, whatever is not creating the correct neural network, hit the delete button now. I want you to think about it, eliminate it, say to yourself, my low self-worth, I'm going to delete it. My low confidence, I'm going to delete it. And I'm going to replace it with, I am worth it. I am worthy of receiving. My low confidence, I'm going to delete it and I'll replace it with confidence knowing that you can get to where you want to be. Delete everything that's not serving you, replace it with something that can only grow you and get you to where you want to be. Look, you know you want more, you know you want growth, you know how to change it, you know what to do to identify what's holding you back. So let's take action today, let's take action now and move forward and create that dream, that vision that beautiful life that's yours, true to you, and be an inspiration for others and the people around you.